Hi guys, so for today's video I want to try out a new product with you. I just got back from Christmas break and I'm back at college and my roommate and I exchanged Christmas gifts and she got me the Mandalorian set from Colourpop. So we have the Grogu palette and we have the Mandalorian palette. I believe this is the newer one. And for today's video we are going to be using the Mandalorian palette. So to start off with this video I'm going to talk about the packaging. So we obviously have Mandalorian on the front and the packaging is metallic which I think is super cool and then it says Star Wars up here and Colourpop over here and then on the back we have a little bit more of some metallics where it says Mandalorian again and we have all of the different shade names so there's the back and there's the front and now I'm going to go ahead and open up this palette and I'm super excited. So here is the front of the palette again and here is the back. They look exactly the same as the packaging which is something that I find that I really like with Colourpop. And so now we're going to go ahead and open up the palette and remove the little plastic film. And here you go, here is the inside of the palette. Sorry, my ring light just washed that out. There's obviously a mirror up here, and then it says wherever he goes, I go, and a picture of the Mandalorian and Grogu. And then we have another little decal up here on the top left. And then here are all the different shades. I'm gonna angle this down so that we don't get that feedback again. So we have nine different shades. This is a nine pan, which ColourPop is pretty famous for. And we're going to be doing our best to use all of these colors today, and I'm so excited. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with a look and we're going to talk about the colors as we go on. So to start out this video, I'm going to be using the ColourPop E23 brush and I'm going to go in with the top right color which is called Bantha Tracks. It's like a, it's like a nice kind of neutrally tan color. Oh, had to remove the film from the mirror as well. And so we're just going to go ahead and blend that into our crease and a little above. This is really just a transition shade for us. So that way when we use some of the less, I guess, natural colors, it's not going to be as harsh of a line. I'm also going to take that color and go around to the bottom of my eye as well. Alright, so now that we've got this color laid out, it doesn't show up very well on camera, but it's also very close to my skin tone, which is why we're kind of using it as a transition shade. We're going to go in with the bottom right shade called Creed. I'm still going to use the E23 brush, and we're just going to add a little bit of that to our crease to sort of darken this up. I'm also going to take Creed with that same brush and just sort of apply it to the outer corner and the tiniest bit to the bottom of my eye. So I went in with Bantha Tracks and Creed and I just kept blending until I liked the color and I made sure to make the outer corner of my eye dark and kind of wing it out. And speaking of making the outer corner dark, we're actually going to go in with a small brush. This is the ColourPop E28. And we're going to take Creed again and really just focus it on that outer corner of the eye. So now that I've darkened my outer corners, we're going to go in with this bottom left color called Mythosar. It's like a brownish gray, and we're going to put that on the outer corner of our eyes. And we're going to try to blend that with that sort of Creed color and really get like the last half of your eye. All right, the next color we're going to use is this middle left color right here. It is called Imperial Credit. And it's a mix between these two colors, the top and bottom left. We're going to take it on a small brush and we're going to put that on the majority of our eyelid. And like we did with the last two colors, you're going to want to make sure you blend these out together because one is a metallic and one is a matte. And now finally, we're going to take an even smaller brush and go in with the top left color, which is called Bizarker Steel. It is the lightest silver shade and we're going to use that to highlight the inner corner of our eye. And we're going to take the tiniest bit on our finger and use that to sort of highlight our brow bone. All right, the final step for eyeshadow is we're going to be taking this middle top color called Navarro Sand. It's like a mustard yellow color, and I'm just gonna be applying it to a small brush, and we're gonna be putting that underneath our eyes. All right, so that's all we're going to use for the Mandalorian palette, but we're not quite done with our eyes yet, so I'm going to be taking this NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick. This is a yellow color, and I'm going to be putting it on the bottom lash line. All right, so now that we've got our bottom lash line, line we're actually going to do the same thing with our top lash line and this i find just helps with falsies and mascara but with black on our top lash line alrighty so i just did a little bit of liner and i tried to do a little bit of a cat eye on the inner eye i don't know if it's the greatest thing in the world but that's irrelevant and now i'm just going to put on some falsies do my eyebrows and then we'll come back and finish up this makeup look and for the lippy i used the ColourPop lippy stick and it is in the shade good times because i thought it matched that dark brown color that we used 
just on the outer corners. But anyway, this is the completed makeup look. And again, we used the Mandalorian palette from ColourPop. I ended up using all of the colors except for three shades. I didn't use Tatooine, Glimmer, Clan of Two, or This is the Way. Um, mostly I didn't use the last two just because they were green colors and I knew that there were going to be a lot of green in the Grogu palette. But overall, I was super impressed with all of the formulas of the shades. I feel like everything worked really well. I especially love the two shimmer shades, Imperial Credit and Bizarre Steel. I think that they were very good colors. They're very pigmented. They're obviously very metallic. And the only color that I wish was a little bit different was the Navarro Sand, just because I wish that it was a slight slightly brighter yellow color but that's also just me and I think we were able to bring it into more of the spotlight by lighting our lash line but anyway that is the video for today overall 10 out of 10 palette really enjoy it and as always pics on my Instagram or it didn't happen